Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. We are going to be doing yet another one of Jordan Peterson's amazing 12 rules for life. Today, we are gonna be doing rule six. Set your house in perfect order before you criticize the world. So, I think this one is pretty important because in general, there are so many people that criticize so many things that have no, no real authority to be speaking on what they're speaking on. I just talked about this a week ago on Instagram when it came to the don't say gay bill. I don't think most people even know what that was actually called. <laughs> I do, because I actually looked it up, I actually read it. But uh, most people thought it was called the Don't get Say Gay Bill, or thought it had anything to do with saying gay whatsoever. And so I came out on Instagram and said, you know what guys, if you don't even know what it's called, if you haven't even read the actual bill, look, I don't wanna hear what you have to say about it, frankly, because you don't know what you're talking about. And how this gets into this rule is that in general, the people who are willing to do the most criticizing of things are the ones who have their lives together the least. So when we find ourselves in a position to criticize something, we really wanna ask ourselves, a, do I even really know what I'm talking about? Because like this bill, if you haven't read it, if you don't even know what it's actually called, then no, you don't know what you're talking about at all. No matter how you feel about gay rights, trans rights, children's rights, parents' rights, because actually, this bill was called the Parental Rights and Education Bill and had to do with just that. Parental rights in education, parents' rights over what their children learned about in school, and it had nothing to do with gay. The place it was actually coming from was that there were for kindergarten or third graders proposals on teaching them not even about biology, but sex. And I don't know about you, but me personally, I think kids should get to be kids for as long as humanly possible. And that includes not sexualizing children. I, I think this idea that people think it's necessary for kids to understand sex and, and adult concepts like sex. I mean, I don't know about you, but if you've ever been or met a child that was aware of anything more than sex is something that mommies and daddies do, like to make babies, like they're not in my experience, healthy children. Um, Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> like, so this idea that we, we can talk about things, this idea that we should talk about things, everything, and give our opinion on everything is a little silly to me because People also have stopped realizing in all this that it is your opinion. People have all of a sudden decided that our opinions are now somehow facts of life. That's gotten us into a lot of trouble. So if you can't even keep your own house clean and your own house in order, your, your, your most inner circle, if that's trash, then you probably shouldn't be trying to organize the world. Probably best 
not even probably, definitely it is best to leave that up to people who do know what they're talking about, have studied it, understand. Because as I've explained recently in the video about cults, the best intentioned people who don't know how the system works can just as much pervert what's going on within the system as bad intentioned people who do know how the system works and therefore are perverting what's happening within the system. So if you feel like the world is out of order, the best thing you can do for the world, and this is a very spiritual tenet, is get yourself in order because that's what the world is made of, individuals. So work on yourself. If you feel like life is chaotic, that's probably the best sign for you to know that you think that your inner world is out of order and chaotic. If you feel like the outer world is out of order and chaotic. Because those of us who have worked on themselves for long enough that we have attained as close to an unshakable peace as possible, start to understand, not that the world is perfect as it is, because I wouldn't argue that, even though that is something that people like to bring up in spirituality. And, and I don't think that the world is necessarily I don't know. There's this there's a spiritual concept that everything is as it should be. And I don't disagree with that. But everything being as it should be doesn't mean that there isn't room for improvement. Just because everything is as it should be right now doesn't mean we can't move forward to better. So the next time that you have the urge to comment on something, ask yourself, is this something that I should be speaking on? Or is this something that I should be educating myself on more before I speak on it? And lastly, I want to talk about this idea that we should be aware of who we look up to and are taking advice from in the sense of if they don't have a life that you want, you shouldn't be taking advice from them. Because I feel like all too often we are influenced by people that have lives that we would want nothing to do with because we're trying to be compassionate, because we're trying to be loving. But sometimes the most loving thing you can do is not to be accepting, not to be tolerant. And so that doesn't necessarily mean voicing your objections, but that might mean eliminating them from your life, eliminating them from your feed, your, your wall, your, um, the people you're following on online. You don't, absolutely don't have to be consuming what does not sit right with you. You don't have to agree with anything that doesn't sit right with you. And you should probably ask yourself why this doesn't sit right with you because turning it inwards does not mean that you have to turn on yourself. There's this tactic that cults and people who are trying to manipulate others use where they turn it against you rather than having it reflected inwards where they'll say, well, that's your problem and you need to work on that. Well, maybe if you have a problem with something, that's a warning sign that it's wrong. Not that you're wrong. 
And I feel like this is something that more and more needs to be said because people are losing this within themselves. Because again, they think that they have to be all compassionate, all loving, all extending. We don't. In the sense that yes, we wanna be compassionate, we wanna be loving. But the modern idea of what that is, is wrong. It's straight up wrong. You do not have to be accepting and tolerant of everything to be compassionate and loving. So, not only do you wanna watch yourself and make sure that you personally have your sh together <laughs> before you start trying to organize anyone else's but if you're taking on advice from others as to how to organize your life, make sure that they're, that they're people with lives that you would actually want. Thank you guys for joining me for another Jordan Peterson 12 Rules for Life video. Thank you guys for joining me for another video. Thank you guys for being here on my channel. As always, I am Anne Blackwood, your Silicon Valley stage sister, here to bring consciousness to the forefront of your daily life to make life a little kinder and simpler. And I hope that I was able to do that for you today. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out all the links in the description. If you're enjoying my videos here, you will definitely love all of the links in my description, including Patreon, where I get even deeper into the spiritual and the practical when it comes to making your life happier and healthier helping you end those cycles of suffering, heal, grow, and expand your consciousness. All exclusive content. I just put out my free bi-monthly energy update, which those are all available for free on Patreon. And I really work hard to make sure that they are not just for the moment, though they are channeled through the moment so that people can watch them as a replay. Although they are and were originally intended to give a little bit of instruction for that two week period of time between each new and full moon. They are also very, very much made with the intention of being able to watch them in the future. I've got my intuitive lifestyle course, guided meditations, journal exercises, so many more videos on so many awesome things over on Patreon. So definitely go check that out. And my lowest tier membership in price is only $11.11 a month. The next one up is what I call the ascending tier. And that has everything that the awakening tier has to offer for $11.11 .11 a month and all of the ascending tier content, which includes my courses, workshops, mini series that the awakening tier doesn't. And that is only $23 a month. Then I have the Sanctuary of the Awakened, which is my VIP group that has everything that the Ascending and Awakening tier has to offer, plus all of the Sanctuary content where I get Awake Not Woke, a little red pill, a little personal, a little worldly. And then I have the Enlightening tier on Patreon, which includes the Ascending and Awakening tier content, plus a once a month session with me one-on-one -on -one, and access to Voxer direct messaging with me in between sessions for any questions or accountability or anything you might need in between sessions, especially when working with me once a month. I like to have that available so that we don't have to spend our one session a month answering questions from the month before. <laughs> if you'd like to work with me more than once a month, I have my session packages available. I have several spots available for one-on-one -on -one clients right now. And when you sign up for one of my session packages, you commit to the number of sessions that you have paid for and then how often we work together, whether that's every other week, once a week, twice a week is completely personalized to you and what we work on is completely customized to you as well. And no worries if you don't come to me with something you know you wanna work on, I have a holistic mind, body, spirit, model in which we can make sure that all of your human systems, spirit systems are healthy so that happiness can come naturally. Last but not least, there is doTERRA and my doTERRA witches group. We had an amazing full moon gathering tonight, which is free. 
witches. <laughs> witches with the witches free. And um, so you should definitely come join us for our full and new moon gatherings on Zoom as well as our classes on Instagram. Those links are down there. doTERRA is your one-stop shop for getting rid of all of those synthetic chemical products in your home and replacing them with the best, purest plant-based products and plant medicine. So definitely go check that out. If you would like, you can get in on our special promotion right now where we are doing a custom enrollment kit where you get free enrollment for the year, which gives you a minimum of 20% off every purchase. And then other perks, if you sign up for our subscribe and save option, monthly subscribe and save option. So if you would like to get in on that right now, where if you spend $150, plus tax and shipping, you can get the free membership for the year. Otherwise, if you want the membership but don't wanna spend $150, you can always get that on the side for $35 for the year and get whatever you want. But if you have any questions whatsoever about doTERRA, about our options, never hesitate to reach out to me. I have my email and I also have my free clarity call, which if you have any questions about doTERRA or my one-on-one, -on -one, sessions, packages, even Patreon, feel free to sign up for one of my free clarity calls. And as always, may the energies you serve serve you well, and let's keep making our way through.